Welcome to the EHR CPOE Medication Orders webinar. During this presentation, we will show you how to input a computerized provider order entry or CPOE for medications in Open Dental. We will be using the steps shown on the write and transmit electronic prescriptions and generate prescriptions new Rx web pages on our website at opendental.com. Please note that although we are capable of explaining how to enter EHR data and produce reports for EHR, the EHR provider needs to ensure that someone on staff will be responsible for his or her own EHR process. If you need advanced help from Open Dental, our EHR consulting fee is $100 an hour. Topics in this webinar will include the EHR objective for CPOE medication orders, definitions of CPOE and medication orders, and how to create a CPOE medication order using either electronic prescriptions or via printing paper prescriptions in Open Dental. More than 60% of medication orders created by an eligible provider during the reporting period are recorded using CPOE. Providers qualify for an exclusion for this measure if they order less than 100 of the order type during the reporting period. Contact your state Medicaid office for additional information and requirements. So what is a CPOE? It is defined as computerized provider order entry. In Open Dental, the EHR provider must be logged into Open Dental and creating orders. What is a medication order? It is a prescribed medication. In order to create a CPOE medication order in Open Dental, we can either use electronic prescriptions or print out written prescriptions. I'm going to access our database here. And as you see, we do have our admin user logged in who is associated with Dr. Albert, the EHR provider. We had there for selected Captain Hammer, who is our patient. And from his chart module, we're going to click on the ERX button in order to begin transmitting an electronic prescription. The preferred method for EHR participants is to use the comprehensive electronic prescriptions. Please contact Open Dental with further details. Once we click on the ERX button, it does generate our Compose RX page for new crop. In here, we can go ahead and type in the drug that we want to go in and search for. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and type in amoxicillin and click on drug search. Once there, as you see, since we did have drug formulary enabled, via the comprehensive version of electronic prescriptions, we are showed the preferred prescription. Okay. From here, I'm just going to go ahead and click on the amoxicillin 500 milligram tablet. This will therefore take us to the pending Rx page, and we can select our frequency as well as an add in an additional SIG as well as pharmacist message. So here I'm going to go ahead and type or select the BID and click on one to two tablets by mouth. I'm going to go ahead and save this SIG and add to doctor's list so we have this for future reference and access. And you can go ahead and write in an additional SIG and pharmacist message as we did mention previous. Saving the RRX would allow us to go to the next review page, as you see. We do have amoxicillin at 500 milligram tablets. That is a preferred medication for our health plan. That's given one to uh, two times a day, or taken rather, one to two uh, twice a day by Dr. Albert here. If you needed to edit this prescription, you can simply click on the Edit Rx button here. We can even delete this prescription and start anew by going back to the Compose Rx page. Or if you're satisfied with this entry, you can go and click on the Take Complete Rx to Review page for review. This is usually when drug interactions check. And if you did not have that um, enabled, it would not show it, obviously. However, because amoxicillin is not currently an interactive or 
interacting um, negatively with the current allergies and medications. It's not displaying any type of um, any type of notification here. Once here, we can go ahead and click on the transmit RX. And that will take us to the final page to actually transmit our um, medication to the selected pharmacy. In this case, I'm just going to go ahead and click on CVS. And they do accept electronic prescriptions as indicated by this green dot here in the ERX column. And once you go and click on the transmit RX after adding your prescription, or I'm sorry, your pharmacy, it would allow us to send that electronically. And not only that, but it will also document in Open Dental as well as in the new crop interface that this prescription had been sent. If prescribing a controlled substance, you will be prompted for a one-time passcode. You can check your code device, then enter your Verizon UIS username password, and the passcode sent to you um, your, dis your device will display. You can therefore click continue after entering that number. So let's show you now how to write a paper prescription in Open Dental. Accessing our database again, selecting our patient, and going to the chart module, and clicking on the new RX button towards the left of the ERX button would allow us to do so. From here, we can select from our current prescription list, and I'm going to highlight aspirin and simply click OK. This brings us to our edit RX template, in which case we can indicate whether it is controlled substance. In this case, it's not. Modify our SIG, our dispensing, as well as any refills. It does default to have Dr. Albert associated as the provider. And using the pick button, we can go ahead and select the pharmacy to send this to and also indicate a send status. In this case, I'm going to go ahead and click on print so we can give it to the patient to therefore take with them. When the prescription is complete and has been printed, it will be added to the patient record as you see, and we can double click onto this to do any editing. For more information, please visit us at www.opendental.com or simply contact us via our support line at 503-363-5432.